If you are using BetAngel version 1.23 or above, this is the screen that will greet you. Um, it looks similar to the screen you may have been used to um, on the one click area, but uh, it also looks a bit different if that makes any sense. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to explain to you uh, what's going on on this screen. You can see here um, this is a dog race and um, one of the main areas that you will see change is you suddenly have all these column headers up here. This is something new that wasn't in previous versions of the one click screen. You can turn the column header on or off depending upon if you want to have that up there. But let me explain what it's for. If you're going to be actively trading then this is probably how you have your screen set up. Um, this function here uh, would allow you to basically, uh, when this is switched on, when you click on any one of these options on the screen here, it will automatically place a bet. So if I click it here at 276, it will place a bet for 276 for £2, because that's your stake. Um, you can switch that off and turn it into a selection tool rather than a one-click betting tool, but uh, we'll explain more about that on another video. I'm just going to change a couple of settings here. The blue cog here, um, in previous versions of BetAngel, the global settings are enforced whenever you tick it. Now you have to select whether you want it on or off. At the moment it's off. Now I click it, any global setting that I have up here will be switched on. So this is the bet placement or the, or the uh, selection tool. Global settings and this puts the headers on or off. If you have the headers on, you can sort by any of the values here. So you can see this is a pretty low volume race at the moment, um, only £215 match. So if we wanted to sort by volume, uh, we can do that. Or if we wanted to sort by the back price, uh, we could do that. Or by the name, uh, you can sort it whichever way you want. It's entirely up to you um, how you wish to sort this particular screen. So by clicking on any of the column headers, you can sort the screen. But um, where the interface comes into its own is the ability to modify the screen. So if I click the column chooser here, you can see here it says choose the columns that will be displayed in the grid. If I click on that, it brings up a little uh, dialog here and you can see here that there are a load of columns that you can choose to display or not to display on this particular uh, part of the software. So if you want to add or remove columns, you can do so at your will. Once you've clicked on the Choose Columns area, say for example we, we didn't want the weight of money in here, we can click on that and drag and drop that away. So that will disappear. I and mean, if we don't want the total bet value, we can drag and drop that and that will disappear. And then you see the columns rearrange themselves and snap together. If you don't want to make market, that can disappear. Um, and if you think, ah, I didn't mean to do that, you can go to the columns and uh, here was make market there he is back there and that will reappear over here but perhaps you don't like make market on that side perhaps you'd prefer that to go over here you can see in greyhound racing we don't have silks we don't have the stall draw or the saddle cloth so you could get rid of those as well um, so I'll tell you what we'll do actually I'll tell you what we will do let's let's turn this into our greyhound trading um, it's, let me see if I if I want to do anything else from within here. In fact, I will get rid of uh, make market. We've now set up a screen um, that we're going to use just for greyhounds because we don't need silks and silks aren't available and so on. So we've dragged and dropped um, each of those out. So we now have a screen that's customized for greyhound. Um, and if I click that off, then I can busily trade away on the greyhound screen. Now. Because we've created this custom view um, for Greyhounds, what I'm going to do here, you can see if I click on this, it says save the current grid layout as a new name. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say Greyhounds. And you can see here, this is reflected in the drop down box. We now have Greyhounds, Manual Bets A, one click A, one click B. So if I want to do a Greyhound race, I can click on Greyhounds or rather click on the drop down box, click on Greyhounds and then we have our screen set up perfectly um, for the Greyhounds. You'll also see we've introduced uh, micro charting here as well. 
Um, so this is just a convenient way of looking at general price movements on, on one particular screen. But there you go, we've got our customized um, Greyhound layout from there. Now if you looked on here, we also, you can see we have one click five prices. Um, if I click on that, you can see how that changes things a bit. All of a sudden you can see we've got five prices on both sides. Um, so, you know, let's create a Greyhound five prices screen. We'll get rid of weight of money, total value. We'll move the make market over here. And we've got basically five prices on both sides of the, uh, the screen. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that one Greyhound. Greyhound's five prices. But what you can also see is another characteristic here. So you can see that where there is no money available, um, on either side of the book, you can see a zero is represented in here. In the traditional um, interface, you can see that um, you can see it's been suspended. Let's move on to the next market quickly. In the traditional interface, you can see that um, you know there are just gaps. So this goes 6.6, 9.6, 9.8. Um, you know you can see there are gaps in here: 7, 8, 8.2. If we go to the our new Greyhounds five prices you can see that those gaps have been filled in for you with Bet Angel, so you can actually uh, trade in and around um, the pricing that it is, is, is available. Uh, now you can actually, you know, we, we've put this in the product as a default so that you've got the ability to have a look at um, this sort of setup, but in fact all that we've done here is we have created uh, this grid layout. We have designed it and saved it under one click B five prices because all that we've done is added in custom columns. You can see here we've got custom column 10 to 20 um, but we've also added in these custom columns lay plus one, lay plus two, lay plus three, lay plus four and you can see here um, different uh, one click prices uh, all over the place here. We've got back minus one, back minus two, and that's what we're using here. You can see on the column header, these are custom columns. You can actually define and uh, put in your own columns into the application. So if I click off the header, you can see that we've got the five prices on both sides here. But if I actually go into um, the custom column area, you can see how we've defined each of these custom columns. So if we look at the five prices general profile, um, what this has actually allowed us to do here is to create, if I go into lay plus one, you can see here, the general characteristics of this column is uh, that it's the current lay price plus one. We've added in, we've typed in the tool tip ourselves, And you can see here that it's a lay bet. If you use the force open and you reverse it, it allows a reversal. Um, you can choose whatever button color you like. Um, but obviously if you're going to reverse it then you need to choose a reversal color as well. So there you go. And you can choose whether the column is fixed odds, uh, tick offset um, from the back price or tick offset from the lay price. And then you can choose either the fixed odds or the offset value. And you can also choose whether you want to use a fixed stake here fixed liability or you use the selection from the grid. And once you've created your column you can save that um, but you can also save it in your own custom profiles as well. So you can define your own column and you can define your own column profiles. So as well as being able to define, I don't want to save those for the moment, as well as being able to define a general grid layout you can define your custom column layout as well. So a huge, huge amount of flexibility, very significant amount of flexibility.